Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and teachers of great Muslim. And like minded men who may not be direct parts of great Muslim, as I'm not, but follow the true doctrine of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai given to the apostle from Apostle to Haran down, initially from Warm West and the Elder Abba Bivens. Um, but now um, the truth, 100% truth, residing with the man of GMS from Apostle Zahar on down. Salutations to the elect men, women, and children of, of Bayaf Dawada, the house of David, who are predestined to be saved in these last days, the elect. Yeah, as it, <clears throat> as it says in Matthew 24, chapter the 30 verse. But today, I'm just going to, quick video, a um, bit of information um, happened over the past 24 hours. Um, what roles of the people? So it's happening all over the world. You know, but I'm going to focus on um, one particular place at the moment. <clears throat> so, we'll start here. Um, Matthew 24th chapter, and the 6th verse. And ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to, pa come to pass, but the end is not, not yet. And now we're not seeing wars and rumours of wars, rumours on top of rumours. War in Ukraine, a rumour of Ch China and um, Taiwan, issues you know, wars in all over the world, or wars in um, the African nations, some of the African nations, in you know, Mali, for example, um, and other nations, like if I'm wrong with Mali. Uh, but yeah, um, there's, there's, there's rumours of wars all over the world, yeah? Because we're living in those times, the times when um, Yahawashai is set to return because the tokens and the signs are showing, yeah? Like the apostles have said, um, we've got three major prophecies to go. It's the MOT to the B, um, the destruction, including World War Three, and Yahweh Shai's return. Yeah, that's not including um, um, Amos eight and eleven, the um, famine of the word. You know, um, WEF, uh, World Economic Forum, are meeting over the next couple of weeks. I think it's the eighteenth, um, talking on the main topic of. Um, the focus is going to be about misinformation and basically um, clamping down on the truth, mainly the prophets that are out on the highways and byways. Yeah, Esau's panicking, man. Simple as that. The devil's going to come down with great wrath because he knows he's got but it's a short time, Revelation 12 and 12, paraphrasing. So, um, back to Matthew 24th chapter, the 7th verse. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Yeah. Like I said, you know, like the scriptures say, um, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Yeah. <coughs> you see famines in the world, inflation happening on a, um, across the globe, yeah, especially in the West. And eventually it will lead to scarcity of food, which is a famine, you know. And we've got the CBDC, which is going to be introduced shortly, whether it's worldwide, whether it's this year or, you know, Lord's will, it will be this year. You know, as Apostle Taha says, it's a hopeful year of the prophecies coming to pass. Um, yeah, so, we, you know, we pray and hope that it's this year, you know, that, um, if we, you know, we were only promised today, so, or we've only got today, you know, enough evils in tomorrow. We pray and hope the prophecies come to pass, you know, because we're all sick of this place. All, um, eight, all these are the beginnings of sorrows. Yeah. So, let me go into, um, let me go into this word diverse, actually, interlinear. <clears throat> it's working. Here we are, it's working. Greek word Qatar, G2596. <clears throat> Throughout, according to, toward, along. Preposition, according, after, against, in, daily. Strong's definition. A primary particle, prepositionally, down, in a place or time. Uh, in varied relations, according to the case, 
genitive, dative, or a causative, which is it is joined about, according, after, against, alone, among, apart, concerning, pertaining to, aside, or before, beyond, or the charge of, concerning, covered, down. Excellent. From form to godly, as much as diverse, every, so many, basically many places, by any means, beyond, mighty, more natural, out, particularly so through, through, or throughout every, so, out, or every, yeah, thus, uttermost, so we're, with. So yeah, basically, I mean, different places, yeah, that's technically what it means. Yeah. Down from throughout, so it's throughout, so diverse means um, throughout, so different places, yeah. <clears throat> it's the Greek word Qatar G2596 so we're going to see different uproars and wars and um, pestilences and famines in various different places so what I wanted to get into today just a brief, quick brief information like I said was um, this is from Reuters um, this is the 29th of, oh, sorry, 9th of January, which is today, isn't it? I forget my dates. Yeah, 9th of January, Monday. And it's, um, let me go to the website. Brazilian troops clear Bolsonaro supporters camp after capital storm. So basically, um, I think troop, um, supporters of Bolsonaro, some supporters, um, not regarding the kings or princes, Lord will I get that scripture. Um, basically going in there and, and I think it was obviously the capital, I think it was judiciary building as well, it was storm, so I'm going to read the bullet points and Lord's well, I got a video from Weon as well. Lula promises justice for those behind Sunday's riots. Bolsonaro in Florida says protesters crossed the line. Yeah. All the le older world leaders including um, Dodgery and their Sleeper Joe condemned it and outrageous. You know, they're not there, they don't care, they're not regarding the kings or princes. You know, I think the same thing happened in um, the US, didn't it? A couple of years ago, January the 6th. And Brazilian soldiers, backed by police, dismantled a camp of supporters of a far-right <laughs> former President Bolsonaro in the capital on Monday. The rioters launched the, first, the worst attack on state institutions since the country's return to democracy in the 80s. So, I'm going to... Get a quick scripture and then just play the video. I think you know where I'm going to go. So I can address 15th chapter, 14th verse. <laughs> so I can address 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, they're not going to pay attention to what the leaders say, yeah, and in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, so they're just going to do what they want. And it's going to this word to sedition. Conductor speech inciting people to rebel against authority of a state or monarch. And this is what we see in Brazil. We've seen it all over the world and it will increase because we will see it. It's happened in France, it's happened in Europe, it's happened in Germany recently. Yeah, about the, um, the, about the um, price increases when it comes to energy bills and, and, and such things and inflation. And as people get squeezed and squeezed, it will happen more and more. Yeah, people will not regard their kings nor princes. Not going to pay attention to what they say. Let's play this video. The supporters of Brazil's far-right ex-president Jair Bolsonaro stormed into the Congress, the presidential palace, and the Supreme Court. Brazilian President Lula da Silva has condemned it as a fascist attack. The protesters disputed the result of the 30th October election in which Lula da Silva beat Bolsonaro and emerged victorious. This comes after Brazil's former President Jair Bolsonaro accused Lula da Silva of potential election fraud.
inclusive vamos descobrir quem são os financiadores desses vândalos que foram a Brasília. Nós vamos descobrir os financiadores e todos eles. So yeah, there's just a, um, a small bit of the video, so I'm going to put the video in the description box. Yeah, I've got to understand why it's happening. So can I just ninth chapter? Because the Yahweh Shai said, um, I'm going to quickly get this. <clears throat> um, one second. One sec. Yahweh Shai, these words are written in red. Um, it's Yahweh Shai's words. Um, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, not God, not Jehovah. His name is Yahweh, meaning He is or He exists. Yahweh Shai's name is the true name. So Yahweh Shai is the true name of the only begotten Son, you know, um, not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He saves, He delivers, yeah, and He will come to deliver His elect in short order. Um, so I'm going to continue with this, Luke 12 and 49. Um, well, like I said, the words are written in red, so these are the words of Yahweh Shai. I came to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it's already be kindled? Uh, so, what and what will I if it be already kindled? Yeah. And so I read it in an NLT. I have come to set the world on fire, and when it comes, he's going to come in his chariots, yeah, like a whirlwind, as the scriptures say, and I will... And I wish it were already burning. So it basically, it's going to be pure chaos on the earth when you Harris when you Harris Shai returns. It's as simple as that. Yeah, pure chaos. All right. And when it comes to delivery, is elect. I'm going to um, jump down to fifty-one. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell ye nay, but rather division. Yeah. For, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the, the son, and the son against the father and the mother, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And for this truth's sake, you know, this world is going to be divided. Simple as that, you know, we, we have division in our own families, people don't believe the truth, you know, um, this is the way it is, because that's the way Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Shai wants it to be, yeah, as the scripture just said, it was clearly stated, so, <clears throat> so I'm going to end it off with this, second address, um, ninth chapter, and uh, I'm going to read two or three verses, um, Second Edges 9 and 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And these signs worldwide, the prophecies are popping off like popcorn, as the apostles say. Yeah? Right, um, so these are the signs of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's return. Yeah, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, we're we not seeing this in diverse places earthquakes and uproars of the people. That's what we just went into in Brazil. Just one small example, and it will happen in Babylon the Great, which is America, and it will happen in other parts of the world, especially when the food prices. Um, go beyond what people can afford yeah yeah because yeah simple then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of these things spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest and doesn't Habakkuk say it yeah 
The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and the vision is speaking. Habakkuk 2 and 3, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> For like the, even so, the times all also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and endings in effects and signs. And with that, I mean, I, I'd advise you to read the rest of um, this this chapter. It's a very, very, very informative as all the scriptures are. With that, I'm going to say, Lord's will to the elect. It was um, a edifying piece of information, um, and I'm going to say, Shalom to the elect from the hopeful elect. Shalom.